Daring Wood, also known as the Screaming Wood, holds the world record for being the most haunted place in the UK in a solo camper from the famous YouTube channel Camper Vibes, is about to experience why she headed into Daring Wood, seeking solitude and a peaceful escape from her busy life as she arrived. She set up her camp, noting the dense silence that enveloped the woodland normally unfazed by camping alone. This time, she felt a subtle chill of you ease she couldn't quite shake. As darkness fell, Jane began to explore her surroundings. At first, she heard distant, almost inaudible whispers carried by the wind, but dismissed them as tricks of her imagination. After dinner, Jane settled in for the night, but at 2 a.m. is when things start to take a horrific turn, when she starts hearing unexplainable noises, which she is scared to think might be footsteps. And after this encounter, some time later, she is convinced there's more than one person outside her tent, which sends shivers down her spine, as you can see. What the fuck was that? I don't want to turn the light on because I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty convinced there's been a person or persons. What the fuck? Morning to come as much as I do right now. Because there is definitely something that woke up to sleeping crows. As visible finally as dawn approached, Jane emerged from the forest, breathless and trembling. She reached her car, the safety of the modern world, a stark contrast to the horrors she had just experienced. Sean, the adventurous soul, behind the YouTube channel, often explores the hidden corners of the UK. With the solo camping trips, his channel is a treasure of serene landscapes and peaceful nights under the stars. But in February 2024, one of his camping trips took a terrifying turn on this particular adventure. I mean, I am parked on the side of the road. I have parked across from a bit of a clearing. After last week's video, where I had a little bit of aggro, I decided this week I'm just gonna come out in the middle of nowhere so that I can have a little bit of downtime. Sean decided to leave his van parked by the side of the road next to a dense woodland area. After a few hours of exploration, he returned to his van and later set out for another evening stroll after his walk. Sean settled into his van, cozying up for the night. He signed off his video with the typical, all being, well, I'll see you in the morning. Good night. But as he drifted off to sleep, the real story was just beginning to unfold at around 3 a.m. All being well, I'll see you in the morning. Good night. The car's just pulled up, and it sounds like they're walking around the van. Sean was jolted awake by the sound of a car pulling up nearby. He listened carefully as footsteps approached, and circled his van. His heart raced as he realized some or something was outside. So we quietly pulled back the curtains to see what was happening. And the mysterious visitors hurriedly got back to their car and sped off into the night. it doesn't stop here. Because the following morning, Sean decided to inspect the outside of his van. But as he tried to open the door, he discovered it was stuck, confused and slightly alarmed. He forced it open and was met with an unsettling sight. His van 
had been zip tied shut. Watch what happens. My door's stuck. What the actual See that? Someone had taken the time to secure the doors with heavy duty zip ties, effectively trapping him inside as he examined the van. He found that the back door was also tampered with. His mind raced with possible motives. Were they trying to steal diesel? Or perhaps they were locals unhappy with his presence? Or just people messing around? Despite his harrowing experience, C's adventurous spirit remained unbroken. YouTube adventurer Matt Field, the face behind the popular channel Field Days, with 1.6 mil million followers, recently took on a challenge that pushed his courage and his audience's nerves to the limit. As he ventured into a location steeped in a remote cave reputed to be haunted, the adventure begins with Matt sitting out for a 24-hour solo camping challenge. This particular cave whispered about in local lore and among Matt's friends is said to have an unsettling presence. Almost immediately upon entering, Matt reports a sensation of being watched, hearing very strange sounds. All right, so a fair bit of time has passed. We're still sitting here. Two extremely weird noises I've heard now. One, I swear to God it was the ladder that I come into the cave on. It was swinging. Now, I swear to God it was the ladder swinging. And um, second thing is just that weird sound I heard again. It's just a very strange noise, but can't really put my finger on what it is. I don't think it's bats. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what it is. But anyway, it is about 11 o'clock at night right now, and we are going to dig into the baked beans. As Matt settles in for the night, feasting on a can of baked beans, the creepiness intensifies when suddenly he hears an inexplicable sound. In a haunted cave. Oh my God. That was the sound. That is the sound. Did you hear that? Look at my, look at my arms. I've got full goosebumps. That sends chills down his spine in a haunted cave. As the night progresses, watch how things get very obviously worse with the doubt. As he hears even more disturbing noises, which can't be explained by the wind. Now, you can't move that chain with wind. It's way too heavy. There is no wind coming in here. There's no wind even for... Holy shit. Oh my fucking God. <laughs> Look. You must have heard that just then. Look at my arms, dude. Oh, this is fucked. Holy shit. That's not, that's not normal, dude. Well, I'm freaking out. Despite the mounting fear and chilling encounters, Matt decides to stay the night after briefly contemplating an early exit. He endures the unnerving sounds and sights until dawn. And as you can see, he is visibly shaking. I just heard a sound. <sighs> That's, it's not normal. It's definitely not a normal sound and I'm scared shitless. I'm not gonna lie. Um, that sound, it was not normal. Two and a half hours after I checked in with you guys, so it would be around two o'clock, one o'clock in the morning. All right, good bloody morning to you. It is the morning. We have spent the whole entire night in this cave. Some of the most craziest, most busted ass sounds I've heard in my life. Like I'm talking sounds that give me chills, dude. Like I'm proper chills. I'm here, I'm still alive. I haven't been murdered. I haven't been taken by a ghost or a spirit. So that's a bloody good thing. The sun has just come up. I've actually, I have actually been sleeping here on this rock. So could this cave truly be haunted? Matt's experience seems to suggest there might be truth 